Hey guys, so you have uh, stumbled upon my video so you can learn how to create your own watermark and I applaud you. I have learned everything I know in Photoshop and Lightroom from these types of tutorials so I'm here to help. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is you'll see here, this is my watermark that I use on a lot of my photos. I have a white version as well. Um, it's a combination of fonts and brushes. So the first thing you'll do is you'll go to File, New. Um, and you'll make a new canvas. The most important part of the step is choosing background contents of transparent. If you don't, um, there will be a white box around your name and it certainly will not look like watermark. Um, so from here, what I typically do is I find a brush that I want to use in um, my watermark. Now, Photoshop comes with some standard brushes. Um, I go and look for the type of brushes that I'm interested in. So um, one of my favorite places to go is to brusheasy.com. Um, you can enter your keywords of what you're looking for and find a bunch of neat um, brushes. So once you find the brush that you want, um, you can change the size here. And let's say that's what you want separating your words. Next, you'll create a text layer here by clicking the T. You'll drag a box out and you'll type what you would like, your name or whatever your business name is. Now, same thing with the fonts. Um, Photoshop comes with some standard fonts. If you are interested in finding others that match your style, um, you can go to 1001fonts.com. I um, go there often for um, different fonts. So you've created a new text layer. You can move your text by clicking this Move button here create another text layer here and position it where you would like. This is a pretty simple watermark. Um, if you'd like to add a copyright in front of it, you can hold the Alt button and type 0169 and that'll give you a, a neat little um, copyright mark there. So if you're, this is good for you, you can just go to File, Save for Web. This will save it as a PNG file. Um, so that you can import it into your photo editing software. And I've got a tutorial on that next if you're interested. I recommend saving by color. So you've got your watermark black um, image here. And the reason for that is because you're going to want more than one color. Um, some of your photos will be too dark to use black and some will be too light to use um, white. So once you have this um, part done and you've saved it for web, then you're going to go to your text um, layers and you're going to hit rasterize type. And what that's going to do for you is it's going to allow you to um, merge the layers down and change the colors. So we've rasterized it, right clicking it, and now we're going to merge down so that now we have one layer. Next we'll go to layer, we'll get, go to layer style and color overlay. And from here, you can change the color of your watermark and it changes your entire piece. Once again, go to Save for Web. You'll click Save. You'll click White Watermark Tech. And then once that's finished, um, I'll show you how to import that file. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you how to import that file into Lightroom. Um, so that it shows up on your pictures. And this is what your file will look like. As you see on the background, it is transparent on your desktop here. And then when you view it, the white one's going to obviously look almost blank. <laughs> but you'll see when you put those on your photos that they look like this. There you go. Thanks for watching. Look in the description for the other tutorial on importing it and um, talk to you soon.